Delongo here. It's 1.15 a.m. Uh, I don't want to call it a miracle because a miracle is a play that happens at the end. But it, it, and they, they came back from a 24-0, and by they I mean the New England Pages, 24-0 deficit. We're up 28-24 with still eight or nine minutes left in the game. Uh, remarkable, remarkable win. Uh, we're out in the field now. It's freezing. It's windy. Your water's frozen. I have my I, my water is actually frozen. Um, I can't believe you can play football in this weather, but they just did. And and for a while, Brady made it look like he was throwing the ball in San Mateo, California. I joked before the game that he's going to go out and throw for 350, and I'd be so foolish saying that. But you know, he did. I, I never thought he could do that. It was like you say. It was like a beautiful day out here for this guy. Um, Big win for the Patriots. Uh, they, they, look, they could have lost this game, and it wouldn't have mattered. They'd be seven and four, leading the division. They, they, right, they, because the other Miami lost, the Buffalo lost. I mean, and, uh, the Jets lost. So they didn't need the win for that. What they needed the win for was now they're in the discussion. Wow, wow, now they're in a great spot for the time. They're a game ahead of both Cincinnati and the Colts. Great shape for the bye. They own the tiebreaker with these guys. Just a huge win with that. You think you're talking from one to four or five here. That's just a huge win. Hector, how do we explain it? And, I, and it's in my column tomorrow. Uh, I think we got it sometimes. I think we give coaching too much credit. But you see Belichick with his little note. He takes a white piece of paper and writes notes down. The second half, Brady doesn't get sacked. Um, the, the, the Broncos ran for 144 40 yards the first half, 140 yards in the second half. So it wasn't like... Yeah, but that defense was up, the defense let up, and teams let up when you're up 24 nothing. Right. They needed to be up 28-31-0. They, they were a couple of possessions they were a little squirrely with in the first half. But they were up big points, and... I remember Hector, as the game's going on, he's... Manny likes to be involved. He's, he's one of those, he likes to win, but he wants to win throwing the ball. And they're up 24 nothing. I always felt like we did nothing. They didn't really do anything at that point. It was all the run game and all the turnovers. And, uh, and it's hard for the team up 24 nothing to be throwing the ball. Yeah, but you know something? But you you, still, do you still have to do it when you're going against Tom Brady. Well, it's a big win. Uh, Huge win. And uh, I, I it's think... It's starting to really like this team, though. Well, you know, this team like is different, team. and, and I, I'll, I'll go back to, I think, second game of the year. I predicted every game is going to be like a field goal, and it's going to be at the end of the game. This is this team is not built to, to steamroll teams like they did once against Pittsburgh, but this team is built to play football and make plays, and I, I do like the balance, despite the two running backs, Legarrette and Ridley, they're the players. That's an issue because I don't know. I, I Ridley might it might be over because Ridley fumbled the ball and then he started doing, you know, war, you know, flips around around the bench area. Didn't have his helmet on, so there's a there's a lot of uh, mental issues there. And Legarrette Blount has a history of fumbling, so it's that's one of the reasons why he's here with the Patriots. Uh, but it's going to be interesting. They're, now they're eight and three, eight and, three. and they are in position. To do, uh, they, they could also lose to some a, a, a decent team. Yeah, no, they could lose, but they're a great, great spot for the pie right there. Great spot for the pie. All right, that's all for now. Uh, next week it's Houston. I guess it's a, it's a win. Yeah. So they're going to be nine and three after next week. Uh, interesting stuff about Houston though coming up because uh, I'm going to make the argument that Houston's franchise changed when when uh, they realized Belichick and the Patriots realized that Matt Schaub really isn't a good quarterback, and they ruined him twice, and they, they haven't recovered. The, the franchise is usually right now one of the worst in the NFL. Uh, any closing words here? Very cold, very cold. We're going home. Thanks for everything.